Weaver was one of our first projects actually that we worked on at Jack, um, which mm -hmm. happened to be one of the biggest ones as well. <laughs> um, it's still an ongoing project that we are busy with at the moment. Um, mm -hmm. So Weaver, uh, like you said, is like a conservation platform, basically, um, mm -hmm. which when we started this project, we knew nothing about. <laughs> like mm -hmm. the, the in-depth things of con conservation and what it comes with. And so I think the very first step in understanding this project was understanding the source material, like trying to gauge what they were doing to begin with. Um, mm -hmm. The client when they presented the idea, they had a sort of brief idea of what they wanted, um, but they didn't know how to implement it. Um, so like mm -hmm. uh, we worked a lot with Jess. Um, she was the one that spoke to us most oftentimes um, to like mm -hmm. sort of like give us the ideas that the specialists had. Um, so mm -hmm. like Julie and a few other um, people in the background, they were, all just like a bunch of really clever specialist people in the world of conservation. Like they were so clever. It was so daunting mm -hmm. in the beginning. Um, mm -hmm. But but um, they knew what they wanted, which is what actually mm -hmm. made the process a bit, mm -hmm. a bit easier, easier in the end. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, challenging in its own ways, but the brief was always clear and they would always let yeah. us know what was right and what was wrong. Um, mm -hmm. So, yeah, I mean, the beginning stages was a lot of just conceptualizing and understanding um, for the actual system mm -hmm. itself. And then yeah. um, after the system was created, we went into the marketing side after that only um, mm -hmm. because we first wanted to establish Weaver in the system, in the platform side of things. Lula um, came to us for a complete brand redesign and they wanted to redo and relaunch their website with the new look and feel of this brand um and it's all about whatsapp chatbots um for businesses mm -hmm. um to do like specific tasks and operations through just a whatsapp chatbot which was very interesting mm -hmm. um but yeah when i started uh sort of this was quite a new thing i didn't knew, know this is something that exists <laughs> So I first like sort of mm. started to see if I could find something similar to what this is and how it functions and what the brands look like for this um, this niche or this um, product. And mm. it was actually very mm. difficult to find um, something <laughs> that's similar to sort of like reference off to make sure that if I do this branding for this project, how can I make it different and how can I make Lulo stand out from the others? So that was one aspect that made this project very interesting. Um, and in terms of going very deeper into this project, I really put a lot of um, emphasis on the brand strategy. So that's sort of more where mm. the research lies. Um, it's looking what's out there, what mm -hmm. is the brand's values, the vision and mission, um, the personality, how the brand archetypes, which archetypes this brand is going to be like, um, and then using mm -hmm. all those things to inform what the the UI looks like. So you can see in that screenshot there, we have the archetypes shown mm -hmm. there, the brand archetypes. So the core identity is the 70%, which is the creator um, archetype. And then the personality is the magician. That's where the wow, the pizzazz, the something different comes in. Mm -hmm. um, so that's sort of how uh, I approached this branding project and the creator and magicians were a very cool combo to work with. Um, it's definitely in the mm. realms of my skills and what I really enjoy doing. Um, mm -hmm. So, for example, um, to link the magician archetype to the gradients, this very whack gradient that has purple, red and orange in it which are all sort of primary and secondary colors combining that into a gradient and making, <laughs> when you think WhatsApp chatbots, you think a lot, tech, tech savvy, tech heavy. Um, but then yeah. you look at Lulo and you open it and you see there's a smiley face in the logo. <laughs> so it's, it was so mm. cool to do this brand. Um, and then I also mm. created like a little avatar, a Lulo avatar um, to link it to chatbots. Mm. And um no, this brand was so, so fun. Um, definitely some of the mm. most fun I've had uh, doing branding. And yeah. Yeah. 